So maybe some people can answer me a question here. I know that there's a lot of artificial preservatives and chemicals put in our food in the UK and I know that uh, some of it is detrimental to your health. And I think one thing is seeded in my mind when I come to the Philippines. This is the second time I've been in the Philippines and each time I've came to the Philippines I felt healthier. Almost, I've only been here one week now and I felt healthier already. You know, like, I feel physically more healthier, I feel mentally more healthier, you know, and so I think it's all due to the fact that when we go to the, when we go to the market around the corner, it's all local farmers, it's all local farmers that are selling their produce, that they've grown it in their gardens, you know, they've grown it in their, in their allotments and stuff like that, and they're selling it. When you buy stuff from places like Tesco's and, you know, Sainsbury's and all these supermarkets, you know, you buy produce from there, it's all, it's all laced with chemicals that they've used to increase their yield of crops, and it's not, it's, it's not even close to being healthy for us. And I think one of the biggest questions I've got is, does anybody else notice this? Because it's a, it makes a, it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference to everything. And look at the, I know that the sunshine and like uh, the weather and whatnot can make a big difference because I haven't got any back pain. You know, like my back pain is like went re reduced dramatically. I've actually lost about two stones since being here, and I'm not actually eating any any differently. I'm still eating loads of f fried rice, and I'm still eating loads of like uh, like chocolate milkshakes and like uh, like uh, juices and stuff like that. You know, I'm still eating loads of stuff that. Probably isn't so good for me. I'll, 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 one other thing that I'm doing is I'm not drinking tap water. I'm drinking bottled mineral water, and it's and a lot of the water here is actually purified. But I searched out uh, which ones is actually mineral water sourced sourced in the mountains to get the right one. And you know, I just think I just think that in the UK, the food and the produce that we are eating is detrimental to our health so much is detrimental to our, to our health you know I'm eating I, I was eating I've, I've had about five slices of cake you know and the cake tastes completely different here you know I know that it's I know that it's something so simple you know but just the just the flour and the sugar and everything it's so different you know and I don't think that in the UK I think in the UK we need to start evaluating our circumstances and looking into what it is we're actually putting into our bodies because the 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 influence that the food just the food has on m me you know I suffer from mental health issues I suffer, I'm overweight you know like uh, I suffer from back issues. I've got, I've got leg. I haven't actually suffered any leg issues at all. I've got, I've no pain in my legs. Usually because my back, the low, my lower back, L4 and L5 are crushed. I, I get like pain in my legs. You know, I don't get that here. You know, the, yesterday I was out cleaning the beach. You know, digging holes and, you know, and I didn't suffer at all last night when I was in bed. I just think that in the UK we are, we are slowly dying. You know and. It's, it's sad, you know, and I don't know if anybody else has uh, experienced this in the UK, but it's just, it's just sad to think that we are constricted by the produce that we can buy, you know, we, we ourselves, we can grow vegetables and stuff, whatnot in our gardens and stuff, but you can't do that all year round, it's not an all year round activity, you know. Maybe I'll, I'm thinking about buying a polytunnel when I get back and maybe trying to do it. And then maybe hopefully, like, the the produce that I can grow, it will be more more sustainable, you know? But, well, it's just... It just saddens me to think that, like, in the UK, and we don't even realise it, we don't even notice it, you know? You come out to the Philippines and and... Or somewhere like the Philippines and instantly you're... You're almost like, I mean, you you feel better almost instantly. I'm sitting here with the sunlight directly, directly. <laughs> I didn't even notice that that was happening. Sorry about that. I don't know if you could see me that whole speech there, you know. But yeah, just uh, just think about what you're putting in your bodies because 
it's not a great idea to be putting all this all these chemicals and stuff in our bodies and and i think the government knows that it's not good for us because they don't want to pay out our pension you know like i don't even know if i'm going to reach pension age if i continue to eat the food that they're providing us within the uk you know like and i don't my diet hasn't really changed you know i'm still eating like biscuits and like i'm still but i've just i've lost like nearly two stone nearly two stone i've lost i've only been here a week well about about eight days i've been here and i've lost two stone you know i haven't had this i haven't had the shits or anything i haven't been ill or anything well i've been a little bit ill because i was in a swimming pool and had a bit of a sinus infection but that's gone now you know like oh i just don't know i just don't know honestly I don't know if anybody else experiences this when they, when they come to a place like this, but I just think that, you know, and I know that farmers are, their hands are tied when it comes to producing what they can, because they want to produce the maximum yield that they possibly can. So they spray pesticides all over their crops because otherwise they can't make a living. You know, like the, the Tesco's and Sainsbury's and all these big supermarkets pay them pittance for what they give them and Tesco is charged through the nose Tesco's are profiting about 200% on all the vegetables in the UK you know all the vegetables and the fruits and whatnot in the UK they pay the farmers hardly anything for what they produce you know and Tesco's are written just written the absolute ass right out of it you know and I'm not just talking about Tesco's and Sainsbury's I'm talking about all the supermarkets you know all of them you know and what are we going to do about this honestly what are we going to do you know these farmers are these farmers are trying to produce the produce that we need but then at the same time they need to provide for their families oh, I don't know what to do you know like our government is so hell bent on killing us all you know it's just a cycle of negative I mean this environment here we, we, me and Jennifer came out yesterday to clean the beach and before we knew it everybody was out cleaning the beach you know like we came out and we were just raking up some rubbish we were raking up some bits and bobs you know like old coconuts and that you know coconuts get washed up quite a lot you know and you know everybody just came out and was like right let's clean the beach you know they just seen us doing it and they just got right let's come out and muck in we didn't pay them or anything they just came out to do it because that's where they live they all live along this beach and the, the environment and the the circumstances that we live in in the UK, I just think that we've become complacent. We've become complacent in our our way of life, and we just trust our supermarkets to provide us with this the food that's good for us. And I don't think it's good for us at all. And I think you, I think the even the organic stuff that you can buy in the supermarket, I really don't think that that's hundred percent organic. You know, oh little cat. Oh sorry, I got distracted there. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyway, that's my little uh, rant for today. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this kind of thing, but if you have, drop me a little comment and let me know because I'm really starting to feel the difference, you know, and it's starting to have a real impact on me. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but this is the we'll beach that I was just talking about there. So we were obviously we were out picking up all the coconuts and trees and you know, and like bits of log and whatnot, and like the coconuts, like this is all the coconuts that washed up, like, so all the coconuts are there, you know, and, and there's another, actually another couple of coconuts that washed up this morning, I don't know if you can see those two coconuts, and there's a coconut there, you know, but this is how, this this is this is the situation with how close Jennifer's, that's Jennifer's beach house, this is the beach, you know, and to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, kind of landed on my feet when it came to Jennifer, you know, and all the fishermen along here, look, this guy's sorting his nets out, you know, and the water, the water is, like, really clear, you know, like, it's not, I mean, it's black sand because it's volcanic sand, right, that's the reason the sand is black, but it's pretty clear, I caught a barracuda here yesterday, so barracuda do fly about around around here and we cooked it up and it was tasty i'm not kidding you it was beautiful beautiful a beautiful fish you know like and all these fishermen along here look i think all these fishermen are quite angry that i'd caught one of their barracudas <laughs> but here's a coconut look coconuts washing up on the shore you know just 
walk along a little bit. Look at that, look. Look at that. Crystal clear water. You know? And there is, we do get rubbish and whatnot washing up on the shore because, uh, and we do, we do clean it, you know, we do come out and pick it up and, you know, we picked up uh, a few bags full, like, the other day when we came out, there's a bit of rubbish there, a couple of bits of rubbish there, you know, so, we do, we do keep on top of it, you know, like, we come out and we pick it up and that, you know, but, you know, when you live in the, the, the Philippines and it's uh, the Pacific Ocean, you're never gonna, you're never gonna completely pick up all the rubbish, you know, and look at this, look, look at how beautiful that is, look, this is, this is, this is, Look, there's the sunshine down there, look. The sun is shining directly on us. Boom, straight on us. Got some trees here. I can't remember what kind of trees these are. These trees actually drop seeds. I can't remember what, what Jennifer called them. Jennifer called them something one day. But she's got coconut trees there. Another couple of coconut trees at the back there and a coconut tree in there. I actually hang my hammock between these two trees here. You know, so when I'm chilling out. And it's actually quite a nice day today. It's not too hot, actually. You know, like the other last few days, it was unbelievably hot. Oh, look, there's, look, look at this, look. See, these holes, these holes are made by crabs. Look, crabs are climbing in there. Look, look, and look in there, there's another one. The crabs are just bur burying themselves in the sand to get away from the sun. But there's another one, look. Look at that, look. Crabs all over the place. And what they do is they, 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 bury, they pull out these tunnels during the day and they hide in them. You know, these are the seeds actually, see that? That's the seeds that that tree drops. That tree drops the seeds. Oh, look at the little birdie, see that? Oh, look, look. Flying away there. <laughs> yeah, so, back to the topic in hand about how we live in the UK and the food that we eat. I'm not sure that it's 100% like uh, good for us because when you come out here and you start eating the food out here, and yeah, in a manner of speaking, the sunshine and the heat and all that kind of stuff, that can have an effect on body pain and whatnot. So I think, you know, that's that's part of the reason I'm feeling like I don't feel any body pain. And the body pain probably has an impact on my mental health issues, you know, like when I'm in the UK, you know, because I'm suffering quite badly. I don't know, you know, but if anybody else experiences this when they come to places like the Philippines, please let me know because I really, I really think that in the UK we need to reevaluate our situation and think about what we're doing anyway, to ourselves. I'm signing off, little video there, you know, about being in the Philippines and our, uh, our way of life, you know, and how we, how we sort ourselves out. So, I hope everybody's safe and happy in the UK, even though it might not be the, the best of messages and it might be a wrong message, you know, but it's just how I feel. It's just how I've noticed things. And the food and that does taste different as well, so it tastes more natural. I don't know if that's a big impact, you know, but well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? So, signing off. Have a good day.